coffin cheaters back in business. Maybe. The music festival that made the club one of the richest bikey gangs in Australia could be back on the cards. The Cheaters have applied to host a weekend burnout festival at Bindoon, which is the club's spiritual home courtesy of this. Over 5,000 rock fans danced, drank and sweated it out in the summer heat. The local shire wants the gang to boot on the burnout meet and resurrect the famous slash infamous Bindoon Rock Festival. The council reckons it would be a family friendly affair. We're going to Barney Doom. And it would be if you find chicks with their tits out and a shitload of drug taking, good wholesome family fun. The coffin cheaters were in control with just two rules, no fires and no aggro. Yeah, it's not the 80s anymore. The club's lost all the institutional knowledge about how to run a festival, so who knows what'll happen. The last Bindoon Rock was 30 years ago. There are coffin cheaters who hadn't been born then, but there are a few old timers who would remember the good old days. Mm, very old days, not sure about good. First Bindoon Rock was held in 1986. For the bikies, it was a great success. Financially, they've gone a long way towards buying their 15 hectare Bindoon block. The planning started a year before that, however, with this guy. That's Eddie Withnell in Fremantle Prison for armed robbery, I think, or pack rape, one of them. Bikies. Pumping up powerlifters wasn't the only thing Withnell had done in his time behind bars. He also hatched a financial plan for his club. He wanted to create Western Australia's first big outdoor music festival. Withnell was a convincing guy, certainly smarter than the average bikey. Well, that wouldn't be hard. <laughs> when they say one percenter, a lot of them mean school grades. Me feel English? Eddie, however, had a tertiary degree. He was a lecturer at Murdoch University, if you can believe that and he quickly had WA's biggest bikey gang on side. They saw the opportunity. He cashed in his inheritance, other club members mortgaged their houses, they even sold their Harleys. Wait up, guys. All in the name of financing the purchase of a bush block an hour or so northeast of Perth. They pulled some big stars. First concert was headlined by the Jets and Dave Hole. Cops would have been shitting themselves. Well, let's ask the world's most 1980s newsreader how it went. Almost 50 people were arrested on the roads leading away from the concert. Inside, all was peaceful. It was arguably the most bogan thing in the history of Australia. There are big plans for next year's concert. Reticulation to green the dusty dance floor and making the pool, which soon became a mud pit, twice the size. Fortunately for the coffin cheaters, Australians love a good bogan thing and Bindoon Rock stayed on the calendar for the next eight years. Up to 20,000 people came for what Eddie said was... What we're trying to do is to create a legitimate business enterprise for ourselves and once a year let the people come up to our place and experience a bit of freedom. Freedom to drink straight from the goon bag <laughs> and take a shitload of drugs. We warned the report contains some offensive scenes. The cheaters just wanted everyone to get along. Just to forget the past and look at the future. Look at us in a different perspective. <laughs> I reckon. Don't interrupt the bikey philosopher when he's dispensing wisdom. This is mainly all that it was for. We are just like them. I wonder how many joints he had before that little speech. If that stoner can remember one minute of any Bindoon rock, I will eat this fuck camera. <laughs> Pity for him, because there were some seriously good acts. Divinals, Jimmy Barnes, Doc Neeson, Meatloaf. Who's who of rock royalty? And for the most part, it went off without any violence. Cops actually praised the cheaters for running a tight show. Who's going to play up at a cheater's show? Well, considering that in 1991, gang members at Bindoon were charged with possessing a heap of firearms and 874 rounds of ammunition, I'd say no one. Holy sh... You'd think that history would be enough for the cops to oppose the Bindoon burnouts thing, but apparently not. Word is the cheaters have worked with 5 to ensure their burnout application went ahead, agreeing to, amongst other things, a no-patches, no-gang insignia clause. Well, not playing well with police is where the Gypsy Jokers went wrong. Jokers have got their own burnout festival, that's the Westdale Dirt Drags, but that's something the cops did not want to happen. Went ahead on the weekend, burnouts, bogans, no major problems from what I can gather. Another revenue stream for bikies. Well... Oh, these are expensive. There's only so many containers. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.